Hello, you've caught me trying to define next gen, a task that's proving quite difficult as Mr. Oxford Online Dictionary doesn't seem to think it's a word. So what does next gen mean? Amazing graphics, say some people over here. Massive, choice filled, open world, say other people over there. 1080p badges, say. Stop messing with my script. Anyway, it's hard to pin down one single thing that next gen is, so instead of one single thing, here's a list of seven games. Again. Not just any seven games though, this lot have been cherry picked for their innovation, originality and all round gorgeousness. Plus the fact they all look set to take PS4 places it's never been before. And first up, yes go on, is Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and the place or places it takes PS4 are Afghanistan and Africa. Phantom Pain is a big deal because it's the open world debut of Metal Gear a series renowned for tight, linear stealth and for having enough cutscenes to sink a tanker. Now, I've played a fair chunk of MGS5 and there's a massive departure from series tradition when it comes to the balance between gameplay and unskippable movie sequences. Previously, it was about 60-40 in favour of the cutscenes, whereas now I'd say it's more like 80-20 in favour of, well, I was about to say gameplay, but that seems too crass and simple a term when we're talking about the Phantom Pain, because the Phantom Pain is full of so much stuff. There's open world stealthing, which offers that familiar hide and seek thrill MGS fans know and love, but on a scale that dwarfs anything that's come before. There's a daunting level of tactical freedom. Do you want to use your hands, use a jeep, use a box, use a dog with an eye patch, use a magic teleporting sniper, use a balloon on a sheep? And that's not even mentioning the whole mother base thing. It's essentially another game. You can train soldiers and develop new kit and there's multiplayer. God, Metal Gear, I've got six more games to get through for crying out loud. Okay, so the next game on our list... And there's new Metal Gear Online too. Shut up! The next game on our list is Dreams, which, if you don't already know, is what the people who made Little Big Planet did after they made Tearaway, seemingly not content with allowing us to make whatever we want with string and paper, Media Molecule is now allowing us to make whatever we want with just our minds, like a man with a polar bear's head playing a piano in a forest or a hoverbike chase, or a zombie killing teddy bear. I guess what they're trying to get across is that Dreams is a game where you can create and animate anything. So I could make an ice cream with the face of Ronnie Corbett skateboarding through an erupting volcano. Or a flamingo playing a ukulele while balancing one-legged on the back of a manatee that's on fire or a badger presenting a weekly gaming show on YouTube while a human sidekick feeds him spoonfuls of peanut butter. Why is there footage for this? That's more like it, a nice beautiful open world from the masters of nice beautiful open worlds, Bethesda Games Studios. This one is called Fallout 4 and already looks to have distanced itself from predecessor Fallout 3, which was mostly green and sad, by being orange and blue and having robot butlers that can say your actual real name. As I live and breathe. As long as your name is popular enough to be included in the approximately 1,000 names recorded by Codsworth voice actor Stephen Russell. Sorry, Demelza Clutterbuck, if you're a person that exists. Joking aside, Fallout 4 really is shaping up to be the ultimate post-apocalyptic open world, not just because it's massive and detailed, you'd expect nothing less, but because you can truly put your own stamp on it. Building Settlements is an amazing new addition that could eventually see you turning post-apocalypse Boston into pre-quite-nice Boston. Plus everything you find, every discarded bit of old world detritus, every bit of scrap metal can be used to customise weapons, build new armour or simply as decorations in your lovely new house. Now this is going to sound a bit la -dee da but Fallout 4 looks like being more than something you simply play, you practically live in it. November the 10th, hurry up please. 
On the subject of awe-inspiring open world, check out PS4 exclusive action RPG Horizon Zero Dawn, a game that wowed audiences during E3 2015 by being enormous, green and full of mysterious mecha wildlife for you to hunt. The best thing about Horizon is how everything you see in this sumptuous gameplay footage, every mountain, every valley, every riverbed, can be reached and fully explored. And the other best thing is fighting massive robots, particularly with a sexed up mega grapple that allows flame-haired protagonist Aloy to yank multiple bits of metallic hide to the floor before pinning the creature down and finishing it off. Time to shut you down! Quite why a world where human civilization as we know it has crumbled into a distant memory would be populated by high-tech herds of robo-mammals is anyone's guess, but that's part of the mystery you'll be trying to solve. By making bows and arrows and spears and that really clever claw-grabby thing. Also, look at that water. That is liquid next-gen. And speaking of liquid... Ooh, look at... Ooh. What's the matter? What are you looking at? And this isn't just any kind of ooh, this is Abzu, which is a game all about being underwater and exploring the ocean's mysterious depths. Think Journey but blue and you're pretty much there. In fact, Giant Squid, the studio behind the game, is led by Matt Narva, who served as art director on Journey, and the influences are more than apparent. Abzu isn't about combat or survival or anything really, apart from the beauty and wonder of exploration probing deeper into the endless dark, uncovering secrets and swimming with enormous majestic animals. The name Abzu is derived from ancient Mesopotamian mythology and translates roughly as the Ocean of Wisdom, which is a clever thing you can tell people. Personally, I'm all for this new genre that's emerging, these relax -em ups like Abzu and Journey and Rhyme, games where there aren't any enemies and you can just concentrate on existing inside a magical world, slowly peeling it back to see what surprises the developers have left for you. Coincidentally, our next entry is also a game you'll be slowly peeling back potentially forever. Because that's pretty much how long No Man's Sky goes on for. Have you seen this galactic map bit? It's the video game equivalent of finding yourself between two mirrors and gawping at your infinitely dwindling reflection. Only here, you can fly anywhere, land on one of the 20 stupid alien planets and name all the stuff you discover like plants and wildlife. That'll be good, won't it? You land on a planet, adrift in a near infinite cosmic ocean of stars. You take stock of your surroundings, secure in the knowledge you're the first human being ever to walk there. And then a bumfish swims past. That's what I'll be calling my first aquatic discovery anyway, I don't know about you. And that's what's really exciting about No Man's Sky, the fact you can make genuine discoveries that, thanks to the sheer size of the universe, are unlikely to be discovered by anyone else. It's the kind of experience we've never had in video games before, and why I think No Man's Sky, arguably the most ambitious virtual world ever built, deserves a place on this list. So we've had fully customizable open worlds, madcap base building, beautiful diving, peanut butter badger feeding, bow and arrow robot killing, and an entire universe just waiting to be explored. What is our final entry going to be? Screw it, let's blow some stuff up. Just look at it for crying out loud. Look at the mud. Look at the leapy, punchy, fiery ridiculousness of what is happening. And know that when Uncharted 4 comes out in 2016, you'll be controlling scenes just like this. Everyone was expecting the best matinee adventure since Indiana Jones. Everyone was expecting the prettiest console game ever. Everyone was expecting wit and warmth from Drake and his supporting cast. And this epic chase sequence still blew us all out the water. I'm just looking at it from a purely technical standpoint and wondering how do they make all the stuff do all the things? I mean, if you just showed five years ago me this footage, I'd have gone bald there and then. Everything's ramped up to 11 in Uncharted 4. The scale of the action, the facial animation, Dave and Delson's excitement levels. It's a game with a simple goal. Make everything bigger, better and more beautiful than ever before. And if this evidence is anything to go by, Naughty Dog is well on the way to succeeding. 
So, seven games that define next gen. Leave a comment and let us know if there are any others you think deserve a mention. Give us a like to make the channel strong and subscribe for more of these videos every Friday. Thanks for watching.